and they require us to be proactive at the front end of this. For how well that the warehouse worker who used to ship your order or the salesman who used to take it now make a living when he or she is no longer needed in that venture? Does greater work flexibility mean fewer worker protections? What are the consequences, practical and moral, of scientific advances that allow us to manipulate the building blocks of life itself to cure defects and diseases in utero? And will that medical science and capability be available to all people because the cost is consequential? Will we end up creating more of a two-tiered society than exists today? The point I'd like to make tonight is that these perils exist regardless of what we call this digital revolution and regardless of whether you think it will be, on the whole, transformative for the economy or not.